God gives favor that brings influence and access. Genesis chapter 39, verses 21 and 22. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy. And he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners who were in the prison. Whatever they did, there it was his doing. The keeper of the prison did not look into anything that was under Joseph's authority because the Lord was with him. And whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. This week, we want to talk about divine favor. The favor that God puts upon our lives and how that affects our lives. We also want to talk about what attracts divine favor to come upon our lives. But as we begin, we must understand that there is this thing called favor or divine favor that we see in the scripture that God bestows on us as his people. He bestows on certain individuals favor upon their lives. As we read here about Joseph, who was falsely accused and thrown into prison. Now think about this. Joseph coming into Egypt as, first of all, a slave. Then matters get worse. He becomes an accused person, an accused criminal of some sort and he's thrown into prison. He, he, he has a worse status in society. His position in society has been degraded. He's gone from a slave to being a criminal and an accused person. And yet the Bible says that there was something upon Joseph's life that made him different. Something upon his life that caused him to thrive and prosper even in as degraded a place as a prison. It tells us here in the passage we read that the favor of God was upon him and God gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. There was something on Joseph's life. It was the favor of God. So no matter what was happening around him, the favor of God caused him to stand out. He became the odd person out in a good sense. He became the person who caught the eyes of the prison keeper. He became the person who uh, suddenly the prison, prison keeper wanted to be good to, wanted to trust and entrusted things to. What caused it? In all normal sense of the word, Joseph should have been the worst in the prison because he was accused by Potiphar's wife. I mean, no more, I, I, it's very, um, doubtful if any of the other prisoners had such a charge against them. So he was this one person who had the charge of part of his own wife against him. And yet, in spite of such a worse accusation against him, the keeper of the prison looked at him very favorably. What made the difference? The favor of God. The favor of God is this, if you want to call it a mysterious thing that God puts upon your life that gives you influence and that gives you access. It is what made Moses uh, a, a person of great influence in Egypt. It is what came upon Nehemiah and Esther and many other people in scripture that gave them access to things that they otherwise would not have been able to touch. The favor of God makes all the difference. And God wants his favor to come upon you. In fact, you are favored of God. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you for what your favor upon us can do. The difference that your favor put upon our lives can make. God, help us to understand what this favor is. How to position ourselves to walk under your favor and to know what your favor can do. Give us influence and access to things that we would not have otherwise access to. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.